Beloved, you are most welcome to God's own elect word and prayer meeting. We are here as elect of God to study the scriptures and also pray. You are most welcome. Hallelujah. You are most welcome. Today we have a very interesting topic uh, to um, look at it. Hallelujah. And the topic is, I did not come to destroy the law. I did not come to destroy the law. That is a very interesting topic that the Christians of today are fighting over it all around. Hallelujah. Uh, and it's a very serious thing that we have to take a critical look at it. Very critical, scripture, uh, serious scripture that we have to take a critical look at it so that at the end of the day, we'll understand it clearly uh, so that we'll know how to apply them rightly. In Jesus' name, we thank the Lord. But before then, let us enter into a word of prayer. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we give glory and honor unto your holy name. How wonderful you are. You are so wonderful. We, Lord, commit our Bible studies and our prayer unto your hands, O God. Let your Holy Spirit take absolute control. And at the end of the day, let us do your will. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, any satanic agenda against us be aborted and be destroyed. Let the perfect will of the Lord be done in our midst. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Let the saints say amen. Wonderful. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Um, as I said, the topic is, I did not come to destroy the law. I did not come to destroy the law. Hallelujah. Mama, uh, you, are, you are welcome. All of you, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are most welcome. Hallelujah. So, we are going to start. And as I said, the topic is, is I did not come to destroy the Lord. We are taking our first scripture from the book of uh, Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. I'm reading, do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For as shortly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one title will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. Hallelujah. Now, many Christians based on their scripture says the law of Moses has not come to an end. Many Christians based on this scripture say the law of Moses has not come to an end because the Lord Jesus Christ himself said he did not come to destroy it but to fulfill. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, there are some few questions that we have to ask ourselves. And if we could get answer to it, then we will know what our way forward. Hallelujah. Now, if that is so, then we should be observing all the ritual laws attached to it. Praise the Lord. If we are saying that the Lord Jesus Christ did not come to destroy the law, he came to fulfill it, and for that matter, the laws of Moses has not come to an end, then we should have been uh, observing all the laws, including the ritual laws, ceremonial laws. Praise the Lord. We should be observing Sabbath seasons and days and then also doing all of, all, all, do, do um, the rituals, kill animals for animal sacrifices, all those things we should have been doing it. Because if they say, the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ said, did not come to destroy the law, and he came to fulfill it, and for that matter, it has not been destroyed, or it has, it has not come to an end, then we're supposed to be doing all those things. Hallelujah. Hmm. Because he did not also come to destroy the ritual laws either. Hallelujah. 
Now, if you say he came to fulfill the law and so the law of Moses not come to an end, then why do we observe only the Ten Commandments? Why do, do, do those people observe the, only the Ten Commandments in the left, the rest? Which scripture that gave them that right to live by only the Ten Commandments and then live the right? The, the other ones. Praise the Lord. The question is, which scripture tells them, which scripture that tells them to pay or, or, or observe only Sabbath or pay tithe only and then leave the rest of the law? Based on which scripture they, they handle the, those by or they handle the words, word of God like that? Based on which scripture? Praise the Lord. Wow. So it seems we have forgotten what the scripture says about the law. It seems Christians have forgotten what the scripture says about the law. Galatians chapter 3 verse 10 says, For as many as are of the works of the law are under curse, for it is written, Curse is everyone who does not continue in all things which are written in the book of the law to, de to do them. Hallelujah. So why would Apostle Paul write this thing to the people of Galatians? Hallelujah. Uh, according to the Galatians chapter 4, verse 10, it says, You observe days and months, seasons and years. I'm afraid for you. So that's what they were doing. They were observing days seasons in the law because that was in the law so they were observing it and paul told them since you have started doing that that means you are obligated to do all praise the lord so the idea that we can choose some of the commandments then commandment sabbath observation tighten and then leave the rest it is wrong is wrong idea. It's not the truth. Hallelujah. So, Apostle Paul was telling the people, since you have, you have decided to observe days, Sabbath day, and seasons, hallelujah, then you are obliged to go on and do the rest of them. Praise the Lord. Now, if Christ did not end the law, why is it that apostles rejected the idea that they should bring the law of Moses when some people uh, uh, raise an allegation or raise an issue that we should bring the law of Moses into Christianity? Apostles stood up and rejected it. According to the book of um, um, Acts chapter 15, verse 5 down to 24. They rejected it. They said, no, we cannot bring the law of Moses into Christianity. They said that. And they rejected it. Hallelujah. So, we have to understand what the Lord Jesus Christ said that I am coming to fulfill the law. We have to understand that one. With lack of understanding of that statement, that caused Christians to say all kind of things, and they are saying because the Lord Jesus Christ has not ended the law, He said He come to fulfill it, and for that matter, He has not He has not ended it, and he, so we have to live by the Ten Commandments. If He has not ended the law, then we have to do all. We have to do all of them. We have to do the rituals, uh, kill bulls, and then do the sprinkling of the blood of the animals upon our bodies every church meeting and every year. We have to do that. We have to build the altar, put fire into it, and make sure that the fire is not quenching. We are not have to put on, we are not have to put on clothes that are sewn together, different clothes, uh, uh, fabric that are sewn together. We, all those, Lord, there are plenty of them. We have to do all of them. If they are saying that the Lord just came to fulfill it, and for that matter, we have, we, uh, uh, 
uh, fulfill it and for that the Lord Jesus Christ did not come to end it. Then the rest of them we have to do, we, have to, we don't have to choose some of, of them and then do them and then forget about some of them. That is not in the law. The scripture says when you choose to do one, you have to continue to do all. And if you don't do that, you are under curse. So all those who are choosing Titan, uh, observing of days, or Ten Commandments, and they are doing, the, doing them and they are not doing the rest. They are under curse. They are under serious curse. Praise the Lord. They are under serious curse. That is what we have to understand that one. Now, we have to understand what is called by uh, uh, what the statement the Lord Jesus Christ said, I came to fulfill the law. I came to fulfill the law and prophet. We have to understand that one. No, there is a scripture here. Luke chapter 24, verse 44, which indicates, which says, Then he said to them, These are the ways which I spoke to you, why I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and the prophet and the psalms concerning me, meaning there are things that were written in the law, in the prophet and psalms concerning him. That what the Lord Jesus Christ said, he did not come to destroy, but he came to do what? Fulfill them. He did not come to destroy, but fulfill them. Hallelujah. And he went on and said, and he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures hallelujah that is it so after the lord jesus christ had died on the cross and came back to life and then met his disciples and then he told them that these are the things i have told you that i had to i didn't come to destroy the law and prophet i came to fulfill so whatever he did systematically to the point of death on the cross is a fulfillment of the law and the scriptures he was fulfilling them. Praise the Lord. Now, praise the living God. Now, the word fulfilling or fulfilling a prophecy or scripture, it also means bringing that prophecy to pass or bringing it to an end. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For instance, let's take one scripture and see. Jeremiah chapter, Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 8. It says, For it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts. Jeremiah was prophesied and say, It shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from your neck and will bust your bones. Foreigners shall no more enslave them. Hallelujah. It's a prophecy that somebody must be fulfilled. And if that person comes to fulfill, that means he has brought that prophecy to pass. Hallelujah. He has brought it to pass. And that means he has also brought that prophecy to an end. It will not continue from that point again. Hallelujah. That prophecy will come to an end at the day that somebody or that person will be fulfilling or will fulfill it. Praise the Lord. So the same it is that the Lord Jesus Christ, things that were written about him in the law, in the prophets and the Psalms, hallelujah, he came to bring them to pass. In other words, he came to bring them to an end. Praise the Lord. He came to bring them to pass. Wow. So, let's take some of the things that were written about him in the Old Testament time. And then he came, he brought them to pass. Matthew chapter 2, verse 23. It says, And he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So, was fulfilled what was said through the prophet. He will be called the Nazareth. So by this, the Lord brought that prophecy to pass. In other words, the Lord brought that prophecy to an end. The prophecy, that prophecy was pending. 
why it was not fulfilling. Hallelujah. And when he fulfilled it, it was brought to an end. It was brought to pass. That is how the meaning of fulfilling scriptures or fulfilling uh, 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 the law and prophets. That's one. Of the, hallelujah. Another scripture says in the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 34, it says, Jesus spoke all these things to the crowd in parables. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. So was fulfilled what was spoken through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. Hallelujah. So the Lord Jesus Christ brought that prophecy to pass. And from that time, the Lord is not doing the same thing again. He has finished it. He has brought that thing to, end, to an end. You get it? So when Jesus Christ said, I'm coming to fulfill that, he's bringing those things written about him to an end. To an end. To make it, you no, know, bringing it to pass. Hallelujah. Let's read the last one and then maybe we will finish with it. Last, there are many scriptures that shows, but I want to read because for the, because of time. I want to read the last one. John chapter 19, verse 28. It says, After this, Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, he said, I test. I test. Hallelujah. So, by saying this, he bring that prophecy that there was a prophecy that he would ask for water on the cross. And he said that to fulfill it, to bring that prophecy to an end. Praise the Lord. To bring that prophecy to an end. So the Lord Jesus Christ saying that I did not come to uh, uh, destroy the law, but to fulfill means he did not come to destroy it, but to bring them to pass or to bring them to an end. He didn't come to destroy it, but to bring them to an end. He didn't come to destroy the law or the prophet, but he to bring them to an end. He was, he, he was to bring them to, to pass. Hallelujah. And that is why that after everything, the scripture is boldly saying, in the book of Romans chapter 10, verse, verse 4, that Christ is the end of the law. Why? Because he came to fulfill it. He came to bring them to pass. All that is written about him. He came to bring them to pass. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wonderful. Then... We are looking at the totality of bringing everything to pass. Complete the whole complete the law. We are, we, are bringing, we are looking at it, it from this angle. Hallelujah. Now, because the scriptures I quoted is just one, one of them, but we are look, looking at the totality of it. The whole, the, the, the total bringing the law and prophet and everything to an end. We are looking from this point of view. Hallelujah. Now, let's see from the book of uh, Matthew 22, verse 37. 22, verse 37. It says, Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greater or great commandment. This is the first and great commandment. Verse 39 says, and the second is like this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophet. So combination of all, bringing everything in the Old Testament together is like this. So the Lord Jesus Christ had to fulfill this 
to love towards God and towards man. When he's able to fulfill it, that means he has completed everything. He has fulfilled everything. He has brought everything to pass. Praise the Lord. Mm. And hallelujah. That is what the Lord Jesus Christ did it on the cross. The Lord Jesus Christ is supposed to fulfill this law. Love towards God and love towards man in the highest level. He has to exhibit the highest love towards God and towards man. And the Lord did it on the cross. So being on the cross means he was exhibiting love towards us and towards God. The love he has for his father. That is why he went to the cross. And the love he has for, for us. To save us. That is why he went to the cross. So that is the highest exhibition of love. To fulfill the whole Old Testament co commandment. Praise the Lord. To fulfill all. Hallelujah. That is why the Lord Jesus Christ said in the book of John chapter 15 verse uh, 13. He said, greater love has no one than this. That to lay down one's life for his friends. Hallelujah. Come and baba. Bro, yes. The totality of bringing the law and everything into fulfillment is what the Lord Jesus Christ did on the cross. And by that, he fulfilled all the law. He fulfilled everything. Because that the highest love, the whole law, uh, the Ten Commandments and everything that is attached to it is to show love to God and man. And that was love God, hallelujah, and love your neighbor as yourself. But the highest degree of this love is what the Lord Jesus Christ showed it on the cross. At the higher degree. And by that he fulfilled it. Hallelujah. Greater love the Lord Jesus Christ did. So this is the standard of love the Lord Jesus Christ set for us. The Old Testament love, the standard is very low. And that is, love your neighbor as yourself. But his is love one another or love another more than yourself. That is his. Praise the Lord. The Old Testament love standard is love your neighbor as yourself. But his is love your neighbor more than yourself. Because he loves us more than himself. If he loves us like himself, he will never go to the cross. For us. So his love is that love your neighbor more than yourself. And the New Testament one, Old Testament one says, love, love one another as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. So it is a low standard of love. The Lord Jesus Christ gave us the highest standard of love. And this highest standard of love is a fulfillment of all the, all the Old Testament. By this he brought the Old Testament love kind of thing down uh, to an end he came to fulfill it brought to an end hallelujah so that means the standard of the as I said the Old Testament covenant is low so whoever lived by that standard of Old Testament law will still lose the kingdom you will not get it you will not meet the standard that will qualify you today the kingdom of God. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ said, if our righteousness does not surpass the righteousness of the Pharisees, we cannot inherit his kingdom. It says in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 20, it says, for I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the, uh, of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. You by all means, no means, enter into that. Kingdom of heaven. 
Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we could see that the Lord Jesus Christ came to fulfill the law by going to the cross. Praise the Lord to fulfill everything. Because that, that is the highest exhibition of love towards man and towards God. And that Bible says that is all about love. All about the Ten Commandments and everything. Even the Ten Commandments and everything attached to it is not up to that love that Jesus Christ shown on the cross. It's not up to it. Praise the Lord. So the fulfillment, uh, so after he fulfilled it on the cross and then give that love to us, that this is my commandment to you. Love one another as I have loved you. How did he love us? He loved us to the point of the cross. So we have to, have to be able to do to that extent. That is love. He gave it to us. So by that, the old one became, became at modded. Are you get it? By that love, he gave it to us. The old one became at, at modded. You can no more love your neighbor as yourself anymore. When you do that, you are still at the lower standard. Praise the Lord. You are still at the lower standard. So you have to go to the higher standard. And he told the disciples, if your righteousness does not exceed the Pharisees one, the Pharisees were depending on the love one another as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. They were depending on it. That is the highest degree of, of, of righteous life for them. But ours is more than that. That is why the New Testament or the New Commandment brought the old one to an end. Praise the Lord. That is why the New Commandment brought the old one to an end. Because you cannot use the old one anymore. The standard is lower. You cannot pass the exams with that standard of love. Praise the Lord. You cannot pass the exams with that standard of love. So you give us a new one. Praise the Lord. Yes, Medra begin, Medra begin from the heart. Hallelujah. So that is what the Lord Jesus Christ told us. So he has made, he has fulfilled the law, and the fulfillment of the law is the highest exhibition of love he gave to us. And that brought the end, brought to the end the old one. That brought to the end the old one. That was scripture says the, the, the Christ is the end of the law. And Paul also spoke about the same thing. Hallelujah. In the book of Romans, chapter um, 13, verse 8, it says, Oh, no one, anything except love. I just have to love one another. That is commandment from Jesus Christ. So that's the commandment we should obey as Christians. So for he who loves another has fulfilled the law. So he says, the Apostle Paul says, if we also do just as the Lord Jesus Christ did, then we are fulfilling the law. That means we are also doing what? We are also fulfilling the law. That means we are also bringing the laws to pass. That means we are also bringing the law to the end. Jesus Christ brought the law, the Old Testament law to an end when he loved us on the cross. And say, we, when, we also, we, when we also do the same, obey this commandment, that means we also brought the Old Testament law to an end, to pass, to an end. The fact that you are not able to do that, that means you are, you are not able to bring the Old Testament law to an end. Praise the Lord. So it says, when we do that, we fulfill the law. For the commandment, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet, you shall... Uh, and if there is any other commandment, are uh, all summed up in this saying, namely, 
you shall love your neighbor as yourself. He quoted the Old Testament commandment to them. That the whole commandment is bound down together as this. And so when you practice what the Lord Jesus Christ gave it to us, that means you are going higher than it. Praise the Lord. You have gone higher than it. And you have fulfilled it. Meaning you have brought it to pass. You have brought it to an end. Praise the Lord. So the Lord Jesus Christ brought the law to the end on the cross. Hallelujah. In exhibiting in, in exhibiting the, 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 the highest love on the cross is, is, is a means of bringing the law to an end, Old Testament law to an end. I hope you get what I'm trying to you know, put across. You no, know, the Lord Jesus Christ, the law he exhibits, the love he exhibits on the cross is higher than the Old Testament love. And so you cannot, you cannot say that you are living the Old Testament love and then pass the exams on the, the love Jesus Christ gave. It cannot, you cannot pass because that one is lower. Lower standard. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, by Jesus Christ giving us New law that love your neighbor as I have loved you, meaning the old one has come to an end because the old one, the standard of the old one is too low to meet the standard of the kingdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Andrew, uh, uh, Brother, Brother James, God bless you. Hallelujah. Yes. So, that is it. That is it. So we cannot say that the Lord Jesus Christ said he did not come to destroy the law. He come to he did not come to destroy the law. And so that that and because of that, the 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 Old Testament scripture or Old Testament law is still exists. When you live that kind of life, you will you miss you miss you will not get yourself ready for the kingdom. Hallelujah. And I believe these people too will also fulfill that scripture. The uh, uh, five foolish virgins, they fulfill the scripture. They believe in Jesus Christ, all right. But the love kind of thing they are exhibiting is not up to the standard. So when the Lord Jesus Christ came, they are not able to make it. Praise the Lord. Their preparation was not up to the standard. Because the belief system they hold on to was wrong. They are using Old Testament scripture or, or love to prepare themselves to meet the Lord. Which is not up to the standard. Praise the Lord. May the Lord give that grace to us. Hallelujah. So the Lord Jesus Christ is the end of the law. We have to take it clearly. If you are saying that is not the truth and Christ has not ended the law, then what you need to do is that go and perform all the rituals in addition to the Ten Commandments and then make sure that you are not buying fruit from a farm that has been mixed, planted. Hallelujah. Because that is also against the law. Make sure you are not wearing two fabrics together. That's against the law. Make sure there are a lot of things. Hallelujah. It's against the law. So if you are saying Christ has not ended the law, then don't choose only the Ten Commandments and live by it. Bible says when you do that, you are under curse. If you do that, you are under curse. Praise the Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Begin to give thanks to the Lord today. 
I think I, the message is very short, and uh, I think we have enough time to pray. Hallelujah. Begin to give time to the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name. Heavenly Father, we adore your holy name. Heavenly Father, we worship your majesty. You deserve praises. You deserve honor. You deserve worship. You deserve adoration. You are so wonderful. You are so good. You are so kind. There is no one like you. Right, Kaba, Bozok Tabe, Lekabra, Yaba, Lekaman, De Protaliande, Lok Shaba, Brokaba, Lekaman, De Rebaba, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray the Lord, our God and Savior, our Redeemer, Lord God of Israel, everlasting Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray, our King, our Master, Divine Father, Lord, Right, Kaba, Babo, Lekabra, Yaba, Lekaman, De, Lok Shaba, Bra Yandalaba, Rekaba Zoktabe, Lekabra Yaba, Lok Shabe, Bra Yande, Lokaba Zoktan de Baba, Rekaba Baba, Lok Shamande, Brok Taliande, Lekaba Baba, Rekaba Zoktaliande, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we give thanks to the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying that the Lord would deliver his children from every kind of delusion. Any doctrine that the enemy through false teachers has put into the minds of his people that is leading them into a destruction without their knowledge, may the Lord deliver them from it. We pray for some mind for the people out there. We pray for the people that, my God, the enemy is deluding them. May the Lord deliver them. May the Lord deliver them. Any bondage of doctrine that the enemy has captured them into, may the Lord release them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you open them up and pray. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, Lord God of Israel, release your people from the bondage of false doctrines. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray the Lord, my my God, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Lord God of Israel, Raika Baba, Raika Bazukta Be, Leka Bra Yaba, Leka Mande Brota Liande, Lok Shabe Bra Yaba, Raika Bazukta Be, Leka Mande Le Baba La Be, Raika Bazukta Liande, Lok Baba Zukta Be, Lok Bazukta Be, Leka Bra Yaba, Lok Shamande Brota Liande, Leka Bra Yaba, Raika Baba Ba, Raika in the name of our Lord Jesus, Father, save your people. Father, deliver your people from the powers of darkness. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, pray the Lord. Let the Lord save your people. Let the Lord deliver your people from the works of the enemy, from the powers of darkness. In the name of our our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray the Lord, my King, my Father, my Savior, my Redeemer, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. We give thanks to the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We worship the name of the Lord. O Kabazi Ande, Le Kabra Yaba, we are praying for the elect all over the world, that the elect will be delivered from the hands of the wicked one. May the Lord touch their heart and prepare their mind for the message of the kingdom. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you open your mouth and pray. Father, we pray for the elect. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Brother, Brother James said, though the message is very short, but very powerful and blessing. Thank you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ of another. We are praying for the elect. Hallelujah. The elect all over the world will, will know the truth and come out from it. In the name of Jesus, come out from the bondage of the devil. 
In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you open your mouth and pray. Right, kaba baba, le kabra yaba, lok shama bazi ande, lok shabe bra yaba. Right, kaba baba, lo zibo rok tabe, re kaba zuk taliande, le kabra yaba, le kamande brok tabe, lok shabe bro yande laba. Right, kaba zuk tabe, le kaba bok shande laba bala pe, re kaba ba zuk tabe, re kamande bro kabe, lok shabe bra. Yapa, right kaba zuk tabe, lo kamande brok tabe, ro kaba zuk taliande, le kaba zuk tabe, le kabra yapa, right kaba zuk tabe, re kaba bok shandela baba la be, right kaba zuk tabe, le kabra yapa, right kaba zuk tabe, le kamande brok taliande, let the Lord relieve your people, deliver your people from the powers of darkness in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, save your people, Lord. Deliver your elect to God from the bondage of the devil in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now we come to our own prayer point. We are asking the Lord that the Lord will certify us this morning with his new message and compassion. We need it very dearly. Hallelujah. We need it very dearly. We are asking the Lord. Lord my God, certify us with your new mercy and compassion. In the name of Jesus, may you open your mouth and pray. Father, we pray the Lord my God, certify us with your new mercy and compassion. By your new mercy and compassion, deliver our soul from the works of the devil. By your new mercy and compassion, deliver our life from every demonic manipulation. By your new mercy and compassion, Every altar that stand against us, may you condemn it in Jesus' name. Father, any plan of the wicked one against our destiny, against our, 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 our ministry, against our election, Father, condemn it in Jesus' name. By your mercy and compassion, Lord, do our battles for us, O God. Contend with those who contend with us and deliver our children from their hands, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we pray the Lord, my God, save our life from the works of the devil. Save our lives from every demonic manipulation. For it is written that the Lord Jesus Christ was manifested to destroy the work of the devil. Any work of the devil done against your children, Father, condemn it and destroy it. Now, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. By your mercy, Lord, establish us. By your mercy, Lord, deliver us, O God. By your mercy, Lord, bless us, O God. By your mercy and compassion, let the Lord, my God, Father, let your beauty come upon us. By your mercy and compassion, let your glory appear to our children in the name of Jesus by your mercy and compassion let the Lord my God let your spirit fill us to God to move us to do your will by your mercy and compassion Lord my God direct our paths in Jesus mighty name lead us not into temptation Lord by your mercy and compassion Lord my God save our life from going to lake of fire by your mercy and compassion let the Lord save our life from going to lake of fire in the name of our Lord Jesus Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray the Lord God of Israel in Jesus' mighty name. We are asking the Lord that by his mercy and compassion, the Lord will deliver, the, the Lord will avenge us. The Lord will avenge us. May the Lord avenge us. May the Lord avenge us. It is written in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 7. It says, shall God not avenge his own elect who cry to him day and night? Hallelujah. We are praying that the Lord will avenge us. We are crying unto him to avenge us. And the enemy is in battle with us. Is in legal battle with us. What, wanting to terminate our election. May the Lord condemn that attention. That, that, attempt, uh, that uh, attempt of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May you open your mouth and pray. Father, we pray the Lord, my God, any demonic Lord, my God, agenda of the enemy to terminate our election, all the accusations of the devil, any charges pressing against us. Father, condemn it, Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, release our soul from every demonic manipulation in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord avenge us. Father, avenge us on any level of battlefield that the enemy has engaged us on in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Father, engage us on any battle, any level of battlefield that the enemy has engaged us on. Avenge us, O God. Rebuke the devil. Rebuke the devil. Rebuke the wicked one. Deliver us from the principalities, powers, rulers, spiritual host of wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Rokapa, pray yandelebe, likabra, yaba, likaba, zoktabe, likaba, zoktaba. Let their weapons of misfortunes, let their weapons of that, uh, uh, sickness, let their weapons of disease, uh, let their weapons of any kind of misfortune, Father, be condemned, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, deliver our soul from the powers of darkness, deliver our soul from their manipulation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. We are asking the Lord that the Lord will make it impossible for us to lose his kingdom. May you open your mouth and pray. Father, make it impossible for us to lose your kingdom. We pray to make it impossible. We can't afford to lose the kingdom. We can afford to lose the kingdom. Lord, make it impossible for us to lose the kingdom. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Rokaba, Brokshande, Likabra, Yaba, Likabra, Yaba, Likabra, Yaba, Lokshama, Bra Yaba, Lokabra, Yaba, Lokabra, Yandelebe, Likabra, Yaba. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Lord, make it impossible for us to lose the kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. We are praying for the Facebook ministry. There are a lot of revelations, prophecies that has come that the enemy is fighting, doing anything possible against this platform. That this platform will not succeed, will not prosper. Hallelujah. Because he knows that when the people come here, they will know the truth. And many of the bondages that the enemy has put them into, hallelujah, will be, will be taken out from their life. And for that matter, according to the revelations that the Lord gave to us, the are, they are, enemy is doing anything possible. He set fire. He make the people's ears itching them that they will not even want to listen to me. He set fire against those who are coming. He set he, he, the seed that have to, they have to sit down to, to, for them to listen to the word. The Lord, the enemy pull it from their, 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 from their, their, their back. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And he did, he doing all kinds of things. Praise the Lord. So that you, we, we, this platform will not go to the level that will bring many people. We are praying that whatever work that enemy is doing against this, against this platform, may the Lord condemn it. We bind the principality. We bind the powers. Any human agent responsible for that, may the Lord condemn. May the Lord crush that agent. We, then, we render that person useless and, and powerless. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray. Rai kaba, rai kaba, le sabo, rai kaba, le kabra yaba, le kaba zi ande, le kabra yaba, le kaba zoktabe, le kabra yaba, le kaba zoktabe, rai kaba zoktabe, le kabo zoktabe, le kaba zoktabe, le kaba zoktabe, rai kaba zoktali ande. In Jesus' mighty name, there was experience that we had. A pastor was. Uh, was a pastor friend was casting out a, a demon from a certain guy who was attending a different church. And then the guy had a problem and then came to this pastor and the pastor was casting that demon. And the demon was accusing the guy that, why did you bring me here? Why did you bring me here? It's because of this I sent you to that church and you, you, you didn't, you, you, you are not saying that you brought you into this church so that you, they, they, will, they will torment me. So demons are also capable of sending people to a particular church that they know that this church cannot give them salvation. Hallelujah. Can send them to some spiritual leaders that they know that this man is not, he doesn't mean the kingdom of God. He doesn't mean kingdom of God. He, does, he, he means something else. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that is it. We are praying any demonic work to send children of God into wrong places on, the, uh, on other platforms that they don't have any salvation, whatever. Praise the Lord. But that demons are pushing them to those places. May the Lord crush those work of the devil. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Hallelujah. And I also decree a blessing into your life. May the Lord bless you and make you a blessing unto many. 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the blessings of the kingdom of God locate you. May the Lord unleash his blessing upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the Lord deliver you from every demonic power that has set in motion against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord put your enemies under your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May you trample over the scorpions and the cobras and every power of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May victory on, be on your side. May you never lose in every good step that you take. In Jesus' mighty name. And my ultimate prayer for you is that at the last sounding, at the sounding of the last trumpet, you will be with the Lord in his kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name. And live with him forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you. Amen. God richly bless you. Mama Meg, Mary James, Mama Ecolina, Mama Kofi, Mama uh, 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 Ecolina, and every one of you, God richly bless every one of you. In Jesus' mighty name. God willing, we shall meet again on tomorrow. Hallelujah. But do the sharing. Sharing is very important. It called others to also join us so that the truth that you are receiving here, all your siblings, your brothers, your friends, your loved ones will also receive it. Hallelujah. So that all together will be able to make it into the kingdom of God. God richly bless you and be blessed. Amen. Bye-bye.